K. Bada bing, bada boom. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hello, my name is Sam and welcome back to my channel. I'm female to male transgender, four years on testosterone and three years post-op, and this is my lovely mother. Mother. I got good feedback on the last video I did interviewing my sister about me transitioning, what it was like for her. And you guys requested that I interview different family members to see different perspectives to help you guys out. So I brought my mom here and she's going to help out with that perspective as a parent. Okay, first question. Did you ever suspect I was trans? No, because I didn't really know about trans. It wasn't in my thought process. When you told me it made total sense. Did you just think I was like a, a tomboy? Yeah, I thought you might be gay. Okay. That's where I thought. How did I come out to you and what was your immediate reaction? Immediate feeling. I don't remember you coming out to me. <laughs> Why does my family not remember? I remember. <laughs> the story is I was speaking to my therapist. That Sam, Sam maybe, maybe you're transgender. transgender. My whole world is like, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit, I think you're right. Right afterwards, I called my mom to tell her. What I kind of remember is like, I just so want you to be happy and that's awesome. And oh my God, where is this train going? This is a lot. Excitement and fear. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you coming home that night and telling me that you had a solid cry. You had to go through emotions. How did you come to terms with me being trans? I had to sit with it. I had to think about it. I had to learn more about it. So when I got to go online or on Ellen DeGeneres or different things, and you see people that were trans that looked really healthy and happy and loved themselves and felt very comfortable in their own body, then it was like, oh, okay, so you can do it and end up feeling like that. And that was a relief, so that was really helpful. And then talking to my therapist, first thing you always that came up, and I remember your sister saying this on her thing, was you feel like you're gonna lose something. You feel like you're gonna lose your daughter, which is not what happens, but there's a difference that happens that I've come to see. There is no difference, <laughs> but there's a belief that there's gonna be a difference. So the other thing that I did that helped me a lot was I, I'm an energy healer. So a big part of being an energy healer for me in my work is really working with deep emotions and helping them to heal. So a lot of the work I did was to really allow myself to have all the emotions, the negative, the positive, the criticism, the judgment, all of that stuff, the fears, everything, let it come up and really work with it all so I could release all the negative stuff and end up just feeling really safe and secure and loving my kid. Has helped me a lot. Can I stress that? A lot. What has been hard for you throughout this transition? I think the hardest part was you and I were so, such buddies and so close and we have similarities. So I was, the hardest part I think was thinking somehow I was gonna lose that. And then you come to see, it didn't happen. And we're the same. And you're the same, you're just hairier. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have trouble with pronouns? As a parent, go oh, easier. <laughs> yeah, you just, it's so, somewhere deep in the part yeah. of recesses of your brain, it shoots out. And I think Audrey said this too, was it's when you start getting around family or people that knew you as a girl, or there's all those kind of references, that's when the she's will pop out. And then sometimes it just flies out and you don't know why, because there's not a piece of me that thinks, I'm still a girl. The way you walked and talked and yeah, carried yourself. And that was an internal thing too. Yeah. Then it got, so when I did mess up, it felt really silly. It was like, well, where did that, where did that come from? Yeah. How do you view me and other transgender people now? Um, great. Trying to think it's a great it. answer. I didn't do. know all the details that would be involved in changing your gender. The emotional part, all the physical part, how that's just such a long process. What it's like for them to start thinking, who am I as a man? Who am I as a woman? Like all these details. What is your advice for parents learning their kid is trans? Ideally, you listen and you say, okay, and you're happy about it and you create this big open space for it all to happen and to evolve. Saying I'm really happy you're figuring out who you are and it sounds like you're really on this path to knowing who you are and let's go figure this out together and let's go learn a lot and tell me what you know because I don't know much. And maybe like, where are you at with all of this? Are you questioning it? Are you sure? Tell me more about why you feel that way and- Just communicating. Just communicating. What is your advice for parents that are struggling to accept their kid as transgender? I think a lot of it's getting educated. Look at a lot of other kids that have gone through it and what it's like and what their transition's like and there's something about normalizing it. Yeah, there's like documentaries, there's TV shows, there's YouTube channels like mine or other people's, there's Instagram, there's lots of resources like that to normalize what this looks like for 
transgender people. What is a good way to help their kid with gnarly dysphoria? Dysphoria sucks. I think for me what's hard is sifting through what's dysphoria, what's just having body issues that you wish they didn't have, and what's being in your young 20s and caring a lot about the way your body looks. Mm -hmm. well, it's that. a mixture of all, and it's hard to know what's what. What I felt was important is to listen to what mattered to him that made him feel feminine or masculine, and then researching what can we do to get rid of the things that would help him the most. And then you get to a certain point, it's like now you just kind of have to do internal work and get comfortable with this. But doing the most you can to support it and not eye rolling at certain things. Oh yeah, eye rolls, parents. <laughs> it is not a joke and it is very legitimate and very valid. What is your advice on how trans people should come out to their families? That's so tricky because it so depends on you and your family. I think one of the best things Sam did that kind of blew my mind and I thought was so perfect was when he told his grandparents, one of the first thing he said was, I'm trans and I don't know if you completely understand what that all is. I guess what my main thing is, is I just want to know that, it still makes me cry. I just want to know <laughs> that you're still going to love me no matter what. So we got straight to, are we all gonna love each other? Everybody just kind of relaxed. And then you could get into what is this all about? Do you have any other tips or tricks for families or parents specifically since you are a dear parent? For me, it's knowing that it's a process and it's a long process. There's a lot to it and it takes time. And it, I think maybe talking to other people, talking to other parents is nice. There's support um, groups that are just for parents too, which I thought was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So those do exist if mm -hmm. you want to look those up. There's a lot to it. And I think to think that it's kind of an easy thing or that it's not a big deal or people would just do this to try it out. It's such a big deal and all the physical stuff and the surgeries and all of that. It's, it's no it, joke. It, it's no joke. <laughs> the bottom line is that you have to be there for that kid and love them and communicate. All of my parents, they still had tons of emotions to go through and cry and be angry and whatever. Just always making sure you make it clear with your kid. Yes, I'm going to feel these feelings, mm -hmm. but no matter what, I love you and I'm just working through things. It's um, an amazing process and I gotta say, to watch your child change genders before your eyes when you have <laughs> had them since a baby, it's a miraculous, <laughs> amazing thing to watch. If parents have questions, are you comfortable with them like yes. contacting you through yes. Instagram? I don't know what my Instagram is. <laughs> Her handle is... Linda Sullivan, S-A-L. Linda Sullivan, S-A-L. Feel free to ask her questions. Yes. I'm happy I'll to support you anyway. And I'll, I'll teach her how to look at the DMs and <laughs> answer the questions. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful with another family member and a different perspective as a parent. Anything else? No, just know you're loved. Whether you're a parent or the trans kid, you're loved. Oh. That's all I have. All right, we love you. Thanks for watching. And I will be back next week with um, another video. Bye. Bye.